I just got to this organic store. It's like the Whole Foods of France. I'll show you guys inside. Not as advanced, but it's pretty dope. Get some organic food in France. I know what section I'm going to. So, looks like I'll be taking the last melons. And then also, gotta get the almond milk. I didn't even think I'd be able to find almond milk in France. But they got it. Also, they have vanilla. And then, of course, they got soy milk, but I don't drink soy. And they got the rice milk. All types of nice little vegan snacks in here. I like this rice pudding. And they got some cool little organic juices here. And then, this is the water that I drink here. Don't come. Funny thing about, or a cool thing actually, about water in Europe is that it lists the pH. They don't do that in America. Like, a lot of bottles here have the pH listed. Let's see. Look, pH 7.5. Like for the most part, all the waters that I've checked here have had the pH listed on there, so that's dope. You get to see whether you're getting an acidic or, or whether you've got some electric water, some pH 7.0 and above is alkaline, so good to see that they got the alkaline water already labeled for you. So, I got the water, got them for all their cantaloupe and a few almond milks. See what else I'm gonna get. I know you guys heard about the eggs not being refrigerated in uh, France. Nope, you don't refrigerate the eggs. They got all the meats and the dairy products refrigerated, yogurt, whatever else that stuff is. Got some. All right, organic sweet potatoes. Potato to deuce. Oh, I might hit up the the other grocery store to see what type of sweet potatoes they got. He's like, all right, I might get a few. Nah. <laughs> Go ahead, go to the other store and see if I can find some better sweet potatoes. They're closing up so it's getting dark. These are all the organic cereals. Got the granola. Corn flakes. Speltine. And even the French put their Sweets at the cash register. <laughs> nice little trick. Real happy about this water. It tastes good. When I first got here, just experimenting with all these waters. It tastes gross. So I finally found a good one. I was drinking Essentia before I left, so finding this water was like similar to Essentia. Look at that. Dying Audio. They make very famous audio equipment. That's dope they got a store here. La Vie San is the actual name of the store, The Healthy Life. And the Healthy Life ain't cheap. <laughs>
Est-ce que vous avez de protéines pour végétarien? Oh, oh oui, sorry. Merci. You don't have a brown rice, do you? Brown rice protein? No, no here. In France, uh, no, it's... Uh, yeah, it's very... You know, good protein. But, uh, right, right over to the car floor market. Like a noisy bike. Good for some exercise though. Du chocolat noir, du ah. chocolat pas de, pas de lait. Chocolat noir ou pas Alors, de lait. Noir, un peu frais comme ceci. Après, ça va être truffe au chocolat noir. Euh, là, ça va être mélangé. Il ne va pas y avoir que du noir. Non, celui-ci va y avoir un praliné. Un chocolat noir avec de la liqueur. Et une autre, c'est une ganache avec du raisin, c'est noir aussi. Ah oui. Mais le petit, comme ça, il est praliné, par contre. Voilà, c'est trois chocolats mélangés. Oui. Voilà, et là, c'est mélangé aussi, c'est pas que du noir. Okay. Voilà, et ça, non. D'accord. Voilà. Et ça, c'est au lait. Aussi, au lait. cela. Ouais. Après, ça va être là. Oui. Ou là. <rire> Merci. Je vous en prie. This is Carrefour Market. Different from the big Carrefour's. Big Carrefour's, they close at like 7.30. Most stores close at 7.30. So it's funny because you think you have it bad in LA when things close at 10, 11 o'clock. When you get here, and you really gotta get on it. So get off from work, you gotta jump straight to the grocery store or get out of school, you gotta go straight there. I shop maybe every two or three days. I don't eat much. Just uh, fruit. So yeah, see? These sweet potatoes are a little bit better. Not organic, but bigger. So I'll take about six of those. Some kiwis. All the usual. I mean, it's not Berkeley Bowl, you know. I will grab some of these apples, some pears. You know, when I first got here and saw potatoes this size, it's like a little tiny rock. I was like, you can't be serious. And it made me wonder. You know, everything in America is all about being big and genetic, genetically grown. And these small tomatoes and small potatoes are the real size. Look at these onions. Tiny. Maybe they're supposed to be like that and we just genetically modify them and make them huge all the time. One thing I always forget to do here is weigh my food. You can't just bring your produce up to the front they weigh it and they get the price for you. You gotta come over to the weigh station and put the price on there for them. Tap the news, press the button. Six, seven sweet potatoes or five bucks. Five, six bucks. Yeah, France, France isn't like vegan haven or anything like that. I actually did meet two vegans. <laughs> So, maybe you guys will find the cereal section interesting. Let me see. Lion cereal. 
like this. Miel pop cracks. Honey. Miel is honey. Quatre cereal complete. It's another one. Oh, these must be the, uh, nah. Miel pops. I, th I thought they were going to be the pops that we have. But these look something different. What else? Frosted Flakes in French. Frosties. Uh, what's this? Trisor. Chocolat au lait. Interesting. What's this? Choca Peak Pepit. Pendant au chocolat tolé. Fabrication française. Another Tysoa. This is a bigger, a bigger box. This must be one of the famous cereals. I don't know. Oh, they got smacks. You know about those. I know you guys are like, why are you spending so much time with cereal? <laughs> I actually used to eat a lot of cereal, so uh, something over there. Let's go check it out. Goo Choco Noisette. The taste of chocolate and peanuts. I think Noisette is uh, hazelnut, I want to say. I'm going to have to look that up. Cereal avec du blé complet. So blé is like flour or wheat. So whole wheat, that's what that is. Over here in the biscuit section. C cookies. And candy. Really nothing to see in the cookie section. There's lots of cookies. Pardon. Some of the staple foods. Bread, 112 euro. The white bread, wheat, same thing. About 150. Pizza and fries. Can't tell me that's not an American influence. See that there's not a lot of floss selection. So, only floss you got is right here. 229. And me being a person who flosses all the time, I have used that floss and it is horrible. So, I would recommend bringing floss from the States at least four months worth because floss here is pretty bad. Some more hot eggs. Let's see. 284. I'm gonna show you guys on this water. I wasn't lying about the pH. They let you know whether you're drinking alkaline or acid. This is a random bottle. pH 7. I don't know what this is. It's just out. pH 5.85. So on this water, they even tell you you're drinking acid. So, I mean, it's, it's probably a law now that I think about it. It's the water I was drinking when I first got here. It tastes disgusting, but I didn't know what to get. This pH is 7.8. And the pH does not taste. Just lets you know whether it's alkaline or not. So, yeah, I'm assuming having the pH is a law. pH 8.2. That must be why every bottle has it. I don't know, or maybe the French or the Europe, they just like putting the pH on their water. So I'm about finished. Wine section.
Bordeaux, so of course they got a million wines. This is a small market. <laughs> They got juice. One thing I love about Bordeaux, banana juice. Wow, pear juice. Look right here. Twenty-five percent minimum of banana. So they tell you up front that this is water and sugar drink. This is not a lot of banana. So you got water, banana puree. Sugar, citric acid. There's something different. Plain in Europe or France is just not your self checkout. So much. Leaving the store. There's something interesting. We already knew that French aren't really like as reserved as Americans are sexually. They're not, they're very open, you know. It's not like a taboo to be naked or anything like that. It's seen as normal. But it's this. Vin et plus. Interesting store. So I carry my backpack. It's pretty big, so I can fit a lot in it. You know, they were telling us at orientation to carry your own bag. But um, yeah, you can carry your own bag. But they do have bags in the grocery store, so I think they're like ten cents for a plastic bag, or you could buy like you know a real bag. They don't cost as much. I know at Whole Foods you could buy a real bag for like you know four dollars or something. Here I think they cost like two bucks. So you know if you forget your bag at home, you could just buy a bag. Construction going over here. <laughs> Mephisto. That's one of the evil characters in the Marvel books. We say Mephisto. Always an Apple store. This is the Opera House. This is Opera Season 2, but tickets sell out as soon as they say opera season. They, the tickets going to sell a year in advance, so if you didn't get tickets last year, then shit out of luck. This is like one of the famous expensive hotels in Bordeaux. Grand Hotel de Bordeaux. And then another wine store. A lot of those. They even have like a wine school. And then this is where I go, pay and pay, to get money out of the ATM. Distributor the BA. Well, it's good to get money. If you have Bank of America, Bay and Pay has like an agreement with Bank of America, so you won't get charged as much when you get cash out. Just going to Carrefour Market. There's an international transaction fee, it's like 45 cents just to buy things. So you're already paying euros. So to pay the extra international fee is annoying. So it's, it's always good to just go to Bay and Pay, go to the ATM, get some cash out. I think like I took out 
I know I took out rent. It was like $600 euro, which was 800 And they charged me like three bucks. Well, this one's cool because it's open till 10 o'clock. I know in Spain, for instance, I paid, what did I pay? Like $8. I got $20 out in Spain and I paid like $8 in a transaction fee and then I paid five dollars for the ATM fee and then there is like another fee so total for twenty dollars in Spain cost me like thirty five dollars which isn't cool euro money the whole opera house so one of the problems I was running into Or that I still run into was with my Bank of America debit card. Sometimes it doesn't work at the cash register. And so, if you don't speak good French <laughs> or whatever country you're in, trying to tell them that you have an American card because they have a special cash register at every store at which you could use your card. Or it might be that only certain people in the store, since they have seniority, they're authorized to do those transactions. But I just know that's one of the problems I was have. I still have sometimes. I get to the register and it doesn't work, and so you know they're telling me, "Oh, you got to have this kind of this, this kind of card with the chip in it." And I'm telling them, "Nah, it works. I just have to go to a specific register." Place de la Bourse. Almost back home. If y'all been watching the other videos, you know I'm not too far away from Cartier Saint Michel. Oh, this looks interesting. I know what this is. Looks like somebody's in there playing his trombone. So, that's grocery shopping for me. See you guys on the next one. <laughs>